Peace. I organize in order to beautify, balancing healing, I seal the store of accomplishment with the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by the power of accomplishment. I am guided by my own power doubled. And what I just read was the affirmation for today, February 24, 2020, that came from the Galactic Calendar. This video that I'm going to be covering today is going to be discussing the Mars and K2, also known as South Node Conjunction. Welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning in. My name is Ronnie, aka Greenheart Goddess. I hope that you all are able to find something very beneficial out of this information that I'm giving to you today and um, are able to use it for yourself. Peace and love. So I will go ahead and read from my notes here that I've taken to be able to deliver this message to you all. And I'll begin. <laughs> so Mars is conjuncting the South Node, also known as K2. The South Node is the lunar node opposite the North Node. These are the points where the moon's orbit pierced through the plane of ecliptic. South Node area is also who you were in the past life or past life. These are both fiery energies. It is important to handle these energies properly to remain balanced, able to vibrate on high notes, have positive thinking and actions, and not being stuck in continuing productivity moving forward with patience and perseverance. Mars represents the energy and speed. K2 represents the detachment and confinement. Mars takes two years to travel through all zodiac signs and one and a half months in each sign. Mars is the ruler of Aries, which is a fire sign. In Western astrology, it is currently in the zodiac sign of Capricorn, where it is exalted, or it functions the best. It will be in this transit from February 8th until March 22nd of 2020. Now, we are going to possibly find in certain situations or with people that there is repressed anger. It may find its expression during this time. Find creative ways to let go of this energy rather than trying to control it. This transit is here to help us to release, to release negativity, toxin, stress that we may have been holding on to unconsciously. Helps us to be able to ascend higher, is what I gather from this. All that happens, happens for our greatest good. Make a choice on how you view past traumas, dramatic events, as experiences that were needed to help you to level up. There are two sides of a coin. You cannot have light without dark, and you cannot have dark without light. Embrace the equality. The intense period during this transit is going to be from February 19th until March 1st. The most intense days will be from February 23rd until February 26th. So today is the 24th. That's about two more days. Um, with energies, they kind of resonate a little bit. So I would say even after the 26th that it might flow into the 27th, so just be mindful of that. So I have some rituals and remedies uh, to be able to help us all assist, to help us all, not assist, to assist us all in this transit, during this transit, along with other things that are going on in our lives. And the first one that I have, i got to put my book down so I can show, it's called the Mushti Mudra, and it's just a simple fist. It's the symbol of force. It's programmed as a form of aggression, but it actually helps us to let go of negativity. All negative emotions, it promotes digestion and helps to cure lethargy. And I'll leave a link for um, instructions and information on this mudra in the description box. If you want to hold this position for about five to 10 possibly 15 minutes as long as you can. You'll develop the feeling of letting go as you are doing this and having the feeling of saying no. You can also do this 10 minutes after your meal to help with digestion. Another thing that you can do to help uh, ease, your, ease your way through these uh, transitions and transits, this one in particular, is to honor whatever lords or deities that exemplify 
strength, devotion, and perseverance and do this every day. So whichever um, spiritual base you have and whatever you practice, keep that in mind. Another thing that we can do is meditate. does not have to be just sitting with your eyes closed like uh, old traditional ways would have us to believe. You will want to get out in nature, hug a tree, walk barefoot, get close to bodies of water, observe nature and all of its beauty. And there's so much of it outside. It's, it's magnificent. Make a goal or a to-do list. Dream your greatest wishes and desires. Create with art, music, song, dance, cooking, baking, photography, etc. Do things that you enjoy that are helping increase with your imagination and your, your desires and love of things and flow of things and feeling elated is the word I want to say. Exercise to release excess energy. You can also try to practice the warrior pose, the yoga warrior pose, and I'm going to leave a link for that. I don't think I can fit <laughs> into the video. But I used to do yoga, and I'm going to be practicing this because it looks really nice. And you can't see my legs. I'll turn it back up a little bit. But this is the one of the warrior. I think this is warrior pose two. This is warrior pose one. So warrior pose one. And my legs are like <laughs> They're separated. And then like this. And then I think there's another one, too, after that. And I'll leave a link for that, too. And I believe you want to hold that for a certain amount of time as well, just as you would with the Mushti Mudra. Yay. And then the other thing I have here is to stay hydrated. Make sure you're drinking a lot of fluids, a lot of water especially. Be mindful of the type of water that you are drinking. I've, again, um, I had mentioned this before in one of my previous videos about water, but I do have sunlight water. I've been keeping in the sunlight for about 24 hours for each glass and rotating uh, a few glasses here and there uh, to make sure I have what I need to be able to stay hydrated. I have come to um, a certain period in my life where I was drinking probably like three to four gallons a day. So do as your body is calling, listen to your body and what it is saying and move accordingly. And then the last thing I have here is to donate to veterans or policemen. That is all the notes that I have. I hope that you enjoyed this video and are, again, able to take something very beneficial from this. I wish you all the best during this time. I send you all my love and um, peace, joy, and abundance to you all. Thank you.